Hi, it's Paul. In today's video, I thought I'd share uh, a few tips and ideas about racket maintenance. Uh, I've got a racket here. It's been played by quite a lot. It's been demoed uh, by loads of different players. And uh, before I restring it, I thought I'd spend a bit of time um, just upgrading a few little areas. And I thought, well, why not make a video of it and show you the sort of things I do. Um, so what I have with me today is a set of tools and obviously replacement so we'll go through those first of all uh, the main focus is going to be on the grommets now the grommets are these little plastic things that sit on the outside and, and through your frame really important that you maintain them uh, to a high standard the grommet is that piece of plastic that is sitting between the string and the frame and if the grommet is split then at any time that string may be sitting directly against the, the hole on the frame. Because of that, if you miss hitting a certain area, you could push the string into the hole, which could act like a basically a knife and cut straight through the string. So what happens potentially on the inside of the grommet is so important to string maintenance and also on the outside as well. Um, whenever a string at the All England, we tend to find that um, a lot of the rackets we receive, especially the older ones, the grommets are in really, really poor condition. Um, and it's very difficult when you're tournament stringing that you don't have a lot of time to, to give to each racket as you would like to. So in many instances, when you have so many rackets to get through and there are deadlines, um, stringers resort to what we call turning the grommet which is basically um, where a grommet is, is, is here now, the string will be lying across it, so it will have a mark across. I don't know where I can get that close enough that you can see the lines. You could probably just see them here. Uh, the lines where the... There we go. You can see where the string is sitting and it's made a, a huge indent in the grommet. So what, what will happen in tournament stringing is that... Um, the stringer may turn the grommet, uh, which essentially means that they get, they they just turn the grommet maybe 90 degrees so that the, the line itself is pointing in another direction. And so there's fresh grommet for the string to sit on. Um, nothing wrong with it. I don't particularly like it myself, but in tournament conditions, you have to do that. Um, in general conditions, i.e. players... Uh, just wanting a restring, I prefer to take the grommet out and replace, replace it completely. But that depends on, on the person um, and what their thoughts are. Uh, at the All Englands, we tend to find that these grommets look like a clock faces and have been turned so many times, there's nothing left to turn. And then at that point, we have to replace them, which is simple to do, but if you've got an entire racket, by the time you've replaced all the grommets, you could have restrung another racket. So when, when you're up against the clock um, and deadlines are important, uh, the last thing you want to be doing is, is maintenance on your racket. But if you've got the time, um, it's always worth checking the grommets. Now, when I check the grommets, um, I use a jeweler's eyepiece, uh, which allows me to, to see really close. And I check all the outside, or the frame so I'm looking for all the wear and tear all these indentations here I'm also checking the inside of the frame for any splits in grommets I'm also checking the actual frame itself to make sure that there are no cracks in it because um, the last thing we want to be able to do is uh, be stringing a racket that has been cracked because it's potentially it, it's uh, it's had its day so I do all those kind of things first. So how do I remove a grommet? Well, sometimes it can be simple as just pushing, I get close here, just push your thumb against it, just the nail, and it pops up. See that? I'll just do it again for you. Push up. Um, but occasionally, especially when they're split, you can't do that. So there is a tool called a degrommeting tool which looks like a pair of pliers, except you've got these little pins at the end here. 
and with these pins you, you can interchange them um, so this is for um, size 2.1 grommets which are the very very small grommets um, that we have in most rackets these days um, there are also two other size pins for the larger grommets and then they've got this little pin here which is just coming out now you see that that is to be used to actually put the grommets back in again so sometimes when you try and put a racket, uh, grommet back in a racket it sits halfway in and by using that tool you can just push it all the way out so i'll show you that in this video anyway um so i can use this this tool so if i just take a grommet here and i'm trying to use a place where you might be able to see we're just going to get the players to sit on top of the grommet like so well you can see that and i just squeeze and pushes through so now the grommet is actually removed completely and in this case it's just fallen on the floor so i have it here this is a little 2.1 grommet you can see it's really really tiny um not sure we can get the head on that let's see if we can show you it's a little bit distorted in, in shape and will get replaced with a brand new 2.1 and when I put this one in because it's relatively loose in this part of the racket I can push it in with my finger and as you can see it sits a little bit proud so I'll cut that later on uh, with a knife or a really sharp pair of pliers just to try and keep the symmetry um, with the grommets itself if I take um, one of the double grommets that we have in this racket uh, all the double grommets tend to be in certain areas um, the, this is where there are two strings going into into one hole so these are wider grommets um, I tend not to replace these as often unless they split because they as you may be able to see here they sit quite flat on the frame can you see that it's sitting relatively flat now which means that it's protecting pretty nicely uh, but when they are broken and yes we have to replace them so same tool can be used maybe I have to change the pin um, and give it a squeeze we'll give it a shot anyway and see what happens in this case let me just come a little bit closer so you can see the pliers in action there so I'll give it a little bit of a squeeze and now you can see that the grommet is, is partly out and I can either pull that out with a pair of pliers or sometimes I can wiggle it out on my fingers and again I can change that with um, another grommet in this case I have a wider wider grommet which is a this is a 2.7 and that's the, the width of the grommet not the length of it I can just generally push in to a point let's see that one's gone in very nicely but it's snug enough if it was too loose then I'd look for something slightly bigger because um, the last thing I need is when I'm stringing is for that grommet to pop out and then the string sits directly against the frame and maybe slice it straight away so in this case it's a bit snug but it's a bit loose so I'd probably change it for something else the other types of grommets I have in particular are the u-shaped grommets which fit down here on the racket and there are basically two types this is a sort of standard u-shape where they're virtually the same post height uh, some come in slightly different widths so you do have to shop around and try and find a few just in case you do have a wider one here and the other one I have is, um, as you can see, has got two different sizes. And this is to fit in into the T-piece itself, where the longer one will sit as the main stem there. And then they'll cut to size later. Uh, generally, I find that the, the U-grommets themselves don't need changing very often. Um, occasionally, with some rackets... There is only a U grommet in the throat piece itself and then they go to individuals and I sometimes change the two little individual ones for U size because it's spreading the load 
across those a little bit easier. If you're certainly high tension stringing, what you tend to find is that this zone here can be uh, under a huge amount of pressure. So if you're using U grommets, they tend to spread the load a little bit better. Um, so that's the kind of thing I do is make sure I check everything and I recommend that you do the same as well. If the string is sitting really, really low in a grommet, then it's getting time to change it. Um, and what I do tend to find is that I get rackets that are pretty old and, and I've never had a grommet be changed or it's been a long, long time and the grommets are sitting so low that they'll start rubbing on the frame. Uh, the string will start rubbing on the frame. So you need to make sure that um, you are getting your grommets changed as often as you can. Um, most stringers will recommend you do this anyway, but um, for me, uh, you need to be aware that there is a charge for doing this. These, these are or can be quite expensive, especially on certain rackets where there are entire strips that go in certain places. Um, and this means that if we have one broken grommet in there, we have to replace the entire strip. Uh, and with these rackets, sometimes we can't buy that strip, we have to buy a complete set. Um, and it's unfair to ask uh, a stringer to keep lots and lots of um, part sets. So generally, if it's gone in one area, we may replace a lot more grommets because they're also showing a lot of signs of wear. Um, so it depends on, on what racket you've got and, um, and what is happening in this area, whether you need to, to get that replaced. But I do recommend that you you um, mention this to your stringer, that if it, you know damaged grommets, please replace them. Um, expect to pay for them rather than just a string because someone's had to go to the time and trouble to replace these. Um, as I say, an entire racket, maybe 10, 20 minutes um, to change the entire set and some of these sets can be expensive. If you don't have one of these degrommeting tools around you, what you can do, you can use something like a pair of pliers and in certain areas it'll work well. What I don't recommend is you push directly with like a, the nose of the plier. I tend to use the flat edge and just push through. Can you see that now? I've pushed that. I'll do another one. So you might be able to see. All I need to do is get the, the head to move down like there is there. It's just protruding enough. And now I can grab and pull. And out comes the grommet. So that's very quick. Um, so I recommend that you pay a little bit more attention to the grommets on your rackets. If you, if you do feel that the string is sitting really, really low and getting close to that frame, mention it to your stringer next time about possibly doing a re-grommet for you. It keeps your racket in the best maintenance it can be, best condition. Uh, also, it can prolong string life in your racket as well. Um, so no split grommets, it's, it's less likely that you're gonna have a broken string. Hope that helps. I'll see you in another video. Oh.